I now want to start checking my design. And part of the check is to make sure that the transitions I have provided can accommodate the cant requirements. So I actually need to go and do the design of my cant. Go into Cant Editor for Root 1, Define All, set my design speed, OK, and that calculates the cant for each of the curves and transitions. In the background it's doing a series of design checks. At the moment I've only turned on the applied cant check, which is checking for cant between the range of 25mm and 150mm. If these values are exceeded, then the applied cant values in the column over here are turned red. And the same is true for all the other values here, which can be checked at this stage if you wish. As a reality check, the cant editor has calculated the cant deficiency as 96mm, the deficiency rate is 35mm per second, and the cant gradient as 1 in 1071. And all of these values lie within an acceptable range for the design. And to store this in the system, all I do is apply and close, and that is my cant design checked and completed. I also have available to me a set of tools for checking geometry against various national and international design standards. And the design checking standards that I wish to use are the CEN standards here. And the traffic category that I have chosen is Class 2B, which is mixed traffic lines with passenger train speeds greater than 160 km per hour and up to 200 km per hour. I'm going to check the vertical alignment and the cant, minimum speed 160, maximum speed 200. I have a choice of freight or passenger checking, and I have a choice of gauge. In this case I'm using 1435. Here are the design checks. Horizontal circular arcs are at the minimum limit of 2000, and the applied cant is greater than the recommended of 110, but the 110 only applies through platform areas. So the design I have created is proven to be compliant with the CEN rules. And that completes my CANT design and design checks.